Um, I would say one of the first things I hear about from most parents finding out about their child having galactosemia, if it's a girl, is are they going to be have, able to have children? Are they going to hit puberty? We're terrified that this is going to be a reality where we're going to have to sit our child down and tell them that, you know, hormonally they just aren't developing and they're not going to be able to do these things. Um, I hear a lot of parents be really worried about learning. Um, is my child going to be able to learn? Are they going to fall behind their peers? Are they going to be ma made fun of? Are they going to get anxiety because they can't um, communicate clearly um, or in complex sentences? And are they going to be other, you know, in an other category by the time they hit school? Um, a lot of worry about diet. Is my child going to be safe away from me? Are people going to understand that they have to eat a certain diet and if they don't, it's not, okay, well, we have an EpiPen to remedy this allergic reaction, but it is a ongoing like poison in their body. And how do I explain that to other people? And um, there's just such a wide array, tremors and seizures. That's a big one. Is my child going to have tremors? And um, that's not just a inconvenient shaking of the hand. That's a, they can't tie their shoes. They can't write letters. They can't zip up their backpacks. There are so many things um, with with tremor that happen early on with kids that are scary for new parents. And, you know, as that kid develops, sometimes they do develop those things. And then they come to me and say, what can we do? And ultimately, there's there's not much we can do. Um, we stay on diet. We refer people to um, early intervention services in every state. We talk about physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech therapy and adaptive behavior therapy, all these therapies. But what I typically say is it's like playing whack-a-mole. You don't know what's going to come up and you don't know when. And instead of being able to deal with the mechanism of disease underneath, you're up here with a, a thing trying to hit the mole down with therapy or whatever else, but it can always pop back up or pop up somewhere else. So it's it's kind of a, a wide range of things that I hear about and help people deal with. Mm -hmm.